Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Slime Buster. Welcome back to another episode on The Realm. Last time, I'm pretty sure we took on The Wither. Because uh, the last few episodes have been recorded out of order. So, from this point forward, we are completely in order. But, you might notice something a bit tiny different. A bit, a little bit different. Uh, how do I... What's the... Is it C? No. M. Well, over here, you might notice that we have a effect. And that is because we finally got ourselves a beacon. I don't even know if we can see it from here. The draw distance on the beacon is kind of weird. It's, it's like right over here somewhere. Uh, it's like right down there somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, I can show you guys that right now. So, so uh... This episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be another building project, but it's going to be more along the lines of a community building project. Uh, as you can see, we almost have full diamond armor. The enchants aren't the best, but we're, we're getting there. I don't really know what god levels of enchantments are, so let me know in the comments down below uh, what is the best form of armor. Uh, so yeah, if we head over this way... You can see my wonderful, beautiful mine that I've been digging out over the last couple of days. Anything in these? Nope, just coal. Yep, just coal. I've been grinding it out, and uh, this is... And I've also gotten myself a lot more shulker boxes as well. We did an end raid. Uh, that's why I finally have an Elytra as well. But the the, the ironic thing is, is I ended up... It's, we, took, we took us like four hours in the... It was like four hours in the, what's it called? Four hours in the, um, in the end. And we ended up coming out with, we, we didn't end up coming out with Elytra and I ended up having to buy one. So yeah, I don't have any rockets yet. I do have plenty of, um, what's it called for paper, but for the time being, I don't have enough to, I don't have enough gunpowder. Um, we're going to have to make a gunpowder farm in the future. But, uh, yeah, so my goal is to make a better nether. And as of right now, this is uh, literally... Oops. Oops, that was a weird lag spike. Literally, I am just walking over here, going to my nether portal each time. And I don't really want that. And besides, it's ugly. Look at this place. Like, it's full of stone, dirt, cobblestone, this weird room in here, and the portal. And then the portal itself, once we get in there is just horrendous as well like look at this place horrible horrible so what i want to do is i want to do everyone a favor at least in the four um cardinal directions um and as far as they go oh my god someone must have connected their portal because that goes way farther down than i remember same over here unless someone has been getting to work but all their work is going to have to go to waste because i am going to completely revamp this whole nether tunnel and at least in the four cardinal directions. Um, so this is uh, zero, 0, if I can find it. Yeah, so right here is zero, 0, and this is sort of like the center point of everything. But I want to make our spawn portal the center of everything. So literally these four, or these two blocks right here, these four are going to be our main center point that we're going to build off of from there. And then I have four cardinal directions leading off of these four directions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take, I have a um, shulker box in my ender chest that has a bunch of netherrack, a bunch of ice, and what we're going to do is we're going to make something special. So for the design, uh, for design-wise, I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, the only things I'm going to worry about, oh, it's bent, bent over there. Um, I'm going to do something in the center area and something in my area, but I won't do anything for... Uh, I won't do anything for, like, the actual hallways. I'll literally just keep them netherrack and ice. Uh, so, and then obviously I'll make sure that it's low enough that we don't actually end up seeing the bedrock. So, yeah, we're going to redesign this place, redesign the nether. And, yeah, I think that'll be a fairly good episode. So, first things first, I have to actually go back and get the things that we need. But... Uh, before we do anything, I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below how many diamonds is in this chest, so or in this shulker box. So, 
I'm going to take my fortune three pickaxe and I'm going to just go like this. I'm going to place down my shulker, shulker box, grab the, well, we have 54, 53 diamonds, 54 diamonds right there. And then we have a half a stack basically of ore. And we're just going to go like this and we're going to mine it out and see how much we get. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think we're going to get, but let's go ahead and mine this up. Oh, you guys have no idea how much of a lifesaver uh, haste is. You guys have no idea. Um, eventually, we're going to get all this top out, too, because I heard you have to actually do three levels, not two. And we have tons more to mine out anyway, so we'll get plenty of diamonds from this. But in all... Oh, man, guys, you have no idea how good that feels. Oh, boy. We have two stacks and nine. I've never had that many diamonds in a server before. So let me just check this out real quick. Because you can see my silk duct pick is pretty dead. I don't know what all these lag spikes are coming from. What is going on? So yeah, in order to completely feel uh, heal it, we have to... Are you kidding me? 32... Well, might as well just do a full thing. Holy crap. Well, I, I have a mending book somewhere, too, and I wanted to use that, but it basically costs just as much. So, anyway, um, I'm trying to think of, like, what else I have to explain. There's nothing else. I just, I guess we just go right into the time lapse. Actually, no, there is one thing I gotta explain. So, I think what we're gonna do is that the nether portion of our building today is going to be in, the nether portion of the building is going to be in a time lapse, but, um, the actual overworld building is going to be the overworld building is going to be in a a progress update so let me just go into here oh i still have my ender chest in here so right here netherrack boom and i can always go to null stod's place to get ice he's always letting me use his items only if it's like for the betterment of him or the server itself so yeah, there's the mending book so, yeah, I think it's time that I get started. Alright, bit of a progress update for you guys. I actually ran out of netherite, netherrack. Um, I only have this one piece left. Um, we have this little pathway going here with uh, the, the lit up netherrack. Um, this is going to be a, tr a track that leads all the way up to probably about here. And then this is our little nether room. So this is just only one half of the project. Um, I'm going to start working on the next half right um, in the next clip here. Um, let me know what you guys think of my little nether portal design here. I think it's pretty neat. Um, it's not anything too crazy. I'm just going to make basically the nether and the overworld um, for this design. And we're not going to be really doing too much in the nether. It's just more of like a time lapse -y thing. Uh, we're just going to hang out in there. Make sure that the spawn portal is the center of attention. And there's a little bit of a design there. I'm going to be relocating a portal and relocating all of the four cardinal directions and making sure everyone is connected up appropriately. If they need to branch off and go into different, like if they're like way off in the northeast, then they need to connect it themselves. But I will let everyone know when that is, so I guess it's time to cue the time lapse.
Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse. I just need to empty out my inventory real quick. I got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, probably don't want to put the redstone in there. I need to put the redstone in here. Too lazy to to break it up right now. Uh, what else? I'm just going to throw that in there for now. I don't really need it. And all this crap can go into this garbage mat materials. That can all go in there. Uh, redstone, 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 wood, gold, and then my food. So you're probably wondering where I got all that food. Um, there's a shop in the shopping district now that sells that. So, yeah. Okay. Now, there's one more thing I want to do. There, we have an elytra. Okay. And... There's no purpose in actually using it, other than looking cool. I mean, yeah, we look pretty cool, but we can't really do anything with it. So, which is crazy. It's, it's just crazy to me, because, like, I have yet to use an elytra on the realm, or on, in a series before, like, legitimately. I know we have some cheats on, but it's not a whole lot. Anyway, we can finally use our newly built railroad. Uh, shown in the time lapse. We can make our way to the stop and then make our way into this beautiful nether portal. And this is sort of showing off everything that we need to show off as well. All the hard work that we've done. Heading straight on over here, there's a little bit that you didn't see um, off camera. We All we did was really add the lava there. and I think it really adds a lot. Thank you so much to Benny Boy to helping us out in building this. So let's head on into the shopping district so we can buy ourselves some rockets. I can't wait. It's been a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. We are now actually ready to see what the world looks like from, from a special... Special... Uh, special view uh i can't sleep there we go so yeah this is the reason why we have to have cheats on because otherwise the uh the thing the one player sleep won't work no more doing that as well we'll finally be able to live normally or fly normally this is really bugging me so we head over to Noel's Dodge Shop, Building Blocks, what's this? The Drop Shop? Nope, that's Slime Balls. Elytra. Uh, we already have some, but how much is... 32 for 8 dias? Oh crap. Wait, is there an Ender Chest in here? I know I have some diamonds in my Ender Chest. Anything? No. Okay, let's go to the... Okay, that's not our shulker box. That's someone else's. Head into here because I know there is one. Uh, yes, here we go. Just so you guys know, I've never flown with Elytra in vanilla survival. Pseudo vanilla. I've never flown and I've never done it. Uh on console. So what does it say? 32 for 8 diamonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's pretty expensive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. I think that's enough for now. So can I put these in my offhand? Yes, I can. But can I use them? No, I can't. I can't use them. Uh, can I? No, I can't. Okay. So, let's put these in a slot. Just, and I don't need this. Cue that out. And let's see if we can fly. Told you I'm really bad at this, so maybe we can. Not sure. <sighs> Make sure we actually have our elytra on. 
Oh, and by the way, I did a lot of mining. I think I told you guys that as well in the beginning. So that's why I have so many diamonds. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Activate the Elytra. How do I do it? Activate. Activate. Okay, uh, I can see. Oh, maybe we, let's jump off of a block and then, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. And so we jump, activate, fly. Okay, jump, activate, fly. Let's go. Wow, this is crazy. I know we're going to have an issue by doing this, but I really want to turn the render distance up. Hold on. See if we can land gracefully on top of this building. There we go. Anything? No lag. Okay, let's see. Oh, God. Let's go, look at it. Wow. I don't have the clouds rendered in either. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna die. There we go. See, we can fly through moon space. <laughs> This is great. Oh my god. Let's go. Alright. I think that's a perfect way to end the episode. You know what? I know. Another perfect way to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.